This is a HeadGum Original. Yeah. Last week was a debacle. Yeah. <laughs> really? We'll talk about it on the show, but I was not happy with that one. <laughs> not happy with the recording video? It was just, it was a persona. Is it he didn't highlight? record the video. Oh, it started. Oh, I don't have headphones. Huh? That's fine. Audio yeah, well, I can sort of hear it vaguely, so it's good. <laughs> right? Here goes that monetization. <laughs> Who needs monetization when you have matters of the heart down pat, Casey? That's so I'm sitting next to you and I can't really hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this song? You guys don't remember this song? I remember this song. Anything half Ellie Goulding, maybe? Ellie Goulding, Probably. yeah. It's so loud. A- anything could <laughs> and did happen because we never thought you would tie the knot. Last you week. You played that song phone. just to say that. <laughs> I love this song. Right? Yeah, it's is a good it one. Ellie Goulding? Yeah. Here's the thing, right? I mean, I don't know how y'all feel, but I knew Jake would do it. I knew he would get hitched. I knew that he would find his mate. Mm. What I didn't know was that at some point, Blumenfeld would follow suit. So Am I sorry, right? Did you, did you not think Amir would get married? Oh. Or you didn't think he would find somebody? So what was that? It's I different can't hear you over the song. Well, you interrupted me with the music, oh so God. it actually doesn't really fucking matter. It's hard to hear you guys. Glad I can it's, hear yeah. I can. it's hard to hear myself. Yeah. You have to stop playing. <laughs> We literally, we Jeff, hear. Jeff, literally this episode will not play in certain regions if you play that song. So you need to stop. Last week, I just thought last week you didn't record the video. That was unacceptable. Really? Also, so Avital hard to hear was here for the entire hour, and then Jeff just said that we didn't record video yeah. at the end. The video was gone. gone. Wow. Well, it was gone, girl. Who's <laughs> calling ultimately, you? someone's calling, calling you now. Who's calling you? <laughs> Same. <laughs> Chino, California. Should we just uh, start this episode over? <laughs> are you kidding me? This has been good stuff. <laughs> Forget it. Nine songs in the call. Yeah. <laughs> Amir's married. Amir had nuptials. Yeah, congrats, yeah. man. Last yeah. week we did the prenuptial episode. We right. drafted an agreement between you and Avital. <laughs> Was it legally binding? It. No. I got it notarized. <laughs> Holy shit. I swear to fucking God, you didn't sign. questions about our financials, our assets, how we yeah. plan to divide the wealth. Yeah. Casey Should was on that episode. Do you want to speak to That's what actually happened? really, it's important to have those conversations. And Not I wonder if on you did. the pod. But did you have them before? I had, yes, of course I had them before without Jeffrey in the room sort of <laughs> guiding the conversation. <laughs> was it That's notarized? We didn't. We didn't end up doing anything notarized. No, we just had very yeah. Well, specific so Je- talks. so thank God that Jeff went to a notary. Forged the signatures, got it notarized. <laughs> this was by a buddy of mine. Wow, you know a notary? I know a notary public, and I know a notary private. Wow. Yeah. So it's like flying private, but for getting yeah. shit notarized. I was no, thinking about becoming a notary. Same, so it's like a mobile vet. Yeah. For nope. getting the stamp. Yeah. No. So, but I do stuff. think you could make. A decent amount of money becoming a notary. But I do yeah, think you can make a decent thing. amount of money. <laughs> Did you guys hear how Marika sounds after the wedding? Sounded Are you fun. hungover, man? <laughs> it's been days. <laughs> so, <know>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. People like to say that HeadGum's artist friendly, but then you have Marika like chastising that? me, slapping me on the wrist with a ruler anytime I use what? Copyrighted music? Yeah. Yeah. Really? When was the last time all of us <laughs> really? were in a room to pod together? I don't know if we've ever Possibly done that. Possibly never. Never, happened. Yeah. never. This, Only this on Zoom. group. Yeah. And Casey That's right, because it was on yeah. Zoom. We had you guys zooming in the last time it was everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the core six. The I'm core sorry six. to interrupt. I really do no, you're not. Like you don't from the Don't say issue. I'm sorry, because I know <laughs> you're not. So I'd rather you just interrupt and just <laughs> fucking talk about it rather than be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt, because you don't fucking mean it. No, you don't mean it. You don't mean it. No, rewind it back. Rewind it back. I want you to say, I don't want you to say I'm sorry. I want you to go back 
you get off I'm sorry. That no, you're not. No, you're not. You so just no, because I don't want to. It's not off. hard for you. you to interrupt is the easiest. People talk at the same time. It's the easiest thing in the world for you. Music is playing over dialogue. I like when there's overlapping dialogue. That's what I'm doing right now. Everyone's talking in songs. There are You don't mean it kindly or earnestly. Say, I take it back. I don't know what this is about because I thought that we all had a good time at the wedding. I feel like Amir is having regrets. I think that's what's happening right now. About the wedding. Not about the wedding. No, about the fucking episode and the wedding and the nuptials. The wedding was a lot of moving pieces, but this has somehow gone worse. And it's just you at the helm. Yeah. Can you imagine? Jeff as a wedding planner? Well, no, because yes. you, you were a tank top to Amir's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> was hard. There was a moment. At, so all the headgum people were at one table, except Jake. And um, Jake who was, was at a separate New York table. That's yeah. whatever. Yeah. Excuses. Pyle was, Pyle was like, at the table. Pyle was He's like, from New York. Ugh. My shirt isn't fitting me right. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I would underdress for this. And then Marty was wearing a polo, and I said, "Oh, at least you didn't wear a fucking polo like Marty." And Marty on a dive, he goes, "Jeff wore a fucking tank top. <laughs> <laughs> Why is nobody talking about that? What do you mean I wore a polo? Jeff is in a fucking white tank top. He was and sitting no one on gives it a shit. for <laughs> the first three and a half hours. Yeah, he was yeah. stewing. He was <laughs> waiting for the opportunity yeah. to be called yeah. out. What was right. that? Are you wearing that tank top right now? You said now? the word of the day. Different I think tank. you said opportunity, maybe. Different tank. Yeah, Did, you could hit the ego uh, Also, Jake, you haven't been on the show for like a minute because of the paternity thing. New that York wasn't man. the only reason, but yeah. <laughs> Back me up, man. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be behind the desk. I feel honestly trapped. <laughs> <laughs> me too, to be honest. Um, we've already gotten into it a little bit, but let's talk. I mean, we were all at the wedding. That's why we're all here. Um, and this is the post nuptial episode. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to all everything that so happened at the wedding. Yeah. Just one second. After I think when Riley, I think you were exactly right when you were like, oh, being married doesn't give you authority. Right. Casey's behind the desk. I'm behind the I desk. Did say that. Jake owns headgum, right? Single handedly. <laughs> yeah. I own a little bit more than Amir. I've been able to buy back stock from who? Um, the Union side. Square, <laughs> USV, Gray Market, Fred Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, <laughs> I almost doxed a private investor. Oh my god, you're almost you're always almost doxing. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Is that fair to say? <laughs> Please bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Please take that out. I'm not gonna leave it in. <laughs> you might. You, might. you sometimes you do. You do sometimes. Do. Like I'm not. I'm, I'm you being totally just, deadly serious. Just, Please remember that. Now you're that. just scared for a week, basically. A hundred percent. This is how. This is how. Should have reacted. Yeah. Now this you is have a nice way to cut that like, part out. But seriously, yeah, you have to cut that part. Yeah. You could have shut down. Yeah. You have to cut that out. Please. <laughs> I'm Please surprised that having I'm surprised that having people get IRL mad at you a few times hasn't stopped the bit. If anything, it encourages him to carry on. Yeah. Um, Amir, we already touched on it a little bit. Marika, let's hear a little bit more from you. Uh, the wedding, right? If she it's remembers it, Marika, you got you got turned. She was I've on never, Molly. I've never yeah. seen you on Molly. Like I never. That. You were asking me if I wanted a bump of coke, which and was it was during the, the ceremony. Yeah, yeah. I was it was like, three thirteen p.m. It's early for and that. And you were also yeah. like a good amount of rows ahead of us. So it's like Marika got up, went down the aisle, right. went yeah. over to you, and yeah. Yeah. Well, you, she walked bump. down the aisle with the flower girl, swatted <laughs> yeah. the basket, yeah. turned to me, leaned yeah. over Amir's great aunt, and was yeah. like, "Do you want a bump?" And yeah. I was like. <laughs> You sat on my dad and you're like, whoa, I didn't see you there. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, well, you know, I thought I'd spice it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you did. Well, well you know. You did. <laughs> I appreciate the um, jocularity, but let's really let this be sort of a documentary. Everyone was having the a good time. I know. That's not really Kyle made a child yeah. cry. We should, we should <laughs> yeah. get okay. the heart of the matter. I feel Let's, like that is like what really I've been waiting to talk about for days. That was yeah. the night Same. before, but yeah. Kyle did make a three-year-old yeah. lady cry. How? Why? Let's talk. Let's go in sequence, right? Yeah. Is that fair to say? Let's yeah. start yeah. with Saturday night. It was sort of a welcome dinner at Edendale. Is yeah. that fair to say? Now yeah. we can say everything that happened because it's in the past. Yeah, but also you have been saying where the wedding was. So if you want to talk about high stakes doxing like imagine having to change the wedding venue because Jeff released the information um, <laughs> at some point yes, we should that get was into like hip violations yeah. we right? were at like a... what was your blood work like last year 
Uh, what? <laughs> Eden Dale. Uh, we show up. I would say Riley's hair looks the best. I would say Jake's looks. At Eden Dale or today? Oh, at Eden Dale. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Riley's hair was a <laughs> big today, topic yeah, of the Eden Dale big. night. Really? That it was, was big. It three ultimately separate was like people Riley's hair. hair. It felt very Amir's good. Amir's wedding. About mm-hmm. Marty's Jake's birthday. Jake's baby. Oh, yeah. Marty's Marty's birthday. birthday. Yeah. Right. A I'm lot happy to happened. be in third. Um, we were in a circle. We were hanging out, catching up, and then there's this little three-year-old child who I believe is the daughter of, of Amir and Avital's friends, and she was running around, and she was, like, <laughs> going up to the group and just being like, boo! And Amir oh, was like, yeah, oh, she's really? trying to scare you. She was just kind of screaming at right. people, and it was very sweet. We were all pretending to be scared. Yeah, <laughs> and I did that to her, like, too. She did it to me. She, yeah, she made, it la- made yeah. me laugh. And then Pyle screamed. Like, she was like, ah! And Pyle, like, leaned down. He's like, ah! And they were kind of going out for a bit, and then I guess Pyle, like... <laughs> Took it up one notch too far, and it zero to sixty. She was just like, ah, and she like <laughs> ran away. And at first we're like, is she laughing? And then you just hear muffled like, we're like oh, oh my no. god! And we're like, pile, you made that girl cry. And he's like. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude. And then I didn't see this, but then you from across the bar, I just look up and I see this girl in her parents' arms, and she's like. Pointing and she's pointing at Pyle like that's him that's, that's the bad, bad, guy. bad man, it was, the, it was crazy though because I would say they were pretty evenly matched in terms of yeah. height mm. uh, no but also <laughs> oh, uh, oh, two yeah, little that. <laughs> no uh, they were pretty <laughs> this is the way to do the episode by the way headphones yeah, next headphones to you because yeah, like, I can yeah. hear everything that's yeah. right yeah. Um, still too loud somehow. Still, yeah. Uh, evenly matched in terms of like the energy they were putting forth. Yes. Like it was very much like the screams they were emitting were the same. Right. It right. wasn't and like she, Kyle, three. like she had the last up. scream. Yeah. And then ultimately ran away throat. and started sobbing. Yeah. Right. But Pyle maybe should have been the bigger man because he's 40 and she was three. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> but it really was. like He, he didn't do anything differently. No, I think he, he might but you have, have to, just You like do have to think that that girl was doing far. the boo screaming thing at yeah, everyone. And it was really yes. fucking And annoying. everyone gave it back and she was laughing with everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. and one guy took it too far. <laughs> this is what I want to talk about. No, I think she what? had it coming. I'm on his side. Wow. She, she needed, Pyle she needed, over needed here. to know when to stop the bit. And it was like, Five minutes. Maybe that, that was maybe like Pyle screaming at her made her kind of go into her own head and mm. be like, "Holy shit, is this like my thing at the party?" <laughs> is this is so embarrassing. Who was that girl? Yeah. She was screaming at everyone. That maybe was her. So, just to have a shepherd's pie and yeah. chill out for an hour. <laughs> at the wedding, then we were like, old. "Pyle, like we're looking for her." And he's like, "No, she's here. I've seen her." And like, <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't have to be weird, but like it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were kind of enemies for the night. Yeah, at the reception, I think she like was walking past him and she kind of bumped into his shoulder on purpose. And she was Didn't like, walk there, much? <laughs> right. She walk. can't walk, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> walk much? She doesn't know how. Um, let's talk about... The, Don't uh, clap for your own joke. That's <laughs> just transition music, man. Is it? <laughs> the sounds of silence and Claps joy. are music to your ears. <laughs> People way. applauding is the music of your life. My favorite song <laughs> is a standing O. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm having an O. <laughs> We'll continue to talk about the wedding and sequence throughout the episode, but let's talk about Thank how God. everyone has been feeling post nuptials. Let's start with Casey. Wait, so it, we're going to continue talking about the wedding. Don't worry, we'll circle back to the wedding. Also, how is everyone feeling about the wedding? We haven't talked about the wedding. I don't know. Mostly, We've just let's talked start about Pyle yeah, scaring the kids. Actually, the then we talked about the welcome dinner. Yeah. <laughs> let's, over, let's skip Sunday. We'll come back to it. Casey, how do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good. I I shot the wedding on a VHS camera. Mm-hmm. Then I had to carry a battery pack and a backpack the entire day. Yeah, I'll you, put a little your back photo. hurt yesterday. Yeah, yeah I've been I've been pretty photos. stiff yeah. uh, for a few days, but uh, you can't say that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doxing myself here. I guess <laughs> I've had a hard on for a week thinking about the shots I got, the footage, <laughs> all of that tape. <laughs> It turned out really well. Yeah. We yeah. should say. It looks like a real old school wedding video. Yeah. Well, it is it, is. it is a, a real <laughs> old, old school video. Old. Yeah. I love that you were getting like it interviews of people like um, like 
Fuck you guys. Why are we quiet? No, I was listening to you. <laughs> you were talking. Yeah. I, was I guess I'm just You're not used to being interrupted. <laughs> I'm used to. I'm used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love how you got like wedding confessionals. Testimonials. Yeah. And ultimately, Jeff multiple times was like, my name is Jeff and I think Marika's going to get the joke. So that <laughs> is a built into guess. the history yeah. of your wedding the now, fabric. which is yeah. awesome. Wow. Casey, you crushed it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Well, you it's know. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. The, uh, I couldn't have done it without the talent of the people at the wedding. I think you could have because even your, um, you know, your landscape shots are incredible. Yeah, oh, wow. so you didn't need us at all. Thank and you. we, yeah. and we should also say that multiple times during the night, all of us would look up from like yeah. the like the tables or whatever and just see Casey in the distance through some bushes, camera in hand. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was, it was Avital's scene. mom who planned the entire thing, and then you in terms of who worked the hardest for me. <laughs> One it did look like, like, if you didn't know, like there, we had a running narrative that it was like, you were just some guy who, like, I felt like that. Really I felt like that because most of the people there didn't know who I was. Uns- unscrambled a, a beep on the did. HeadGum podcast, <laughs> <laughs> figured out where it was. <laughs> anyway, that footage is now all behind our Patreon, patreon.com slash <laughs> JA. Check out the right. vows, check out <laughs> yeah. the secret. Check out the vows. And you can go back to watch your speech at Jake's wedding. That's yeah. right. That is actually there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to Jake's wedding. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't about this is all his leading up I, to that. And I don't think we will because we're still at the mm-hmm. rehearsal, at the <laughs> rehearsal dinner, and how we felt the day after. So we haven't even touched a beer's wedding. We're circling the wagon. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's um, let's say. Let's just. I just have a. Let's just get to Jake's wedding. Let's just get to Jake's wedding. Let's just go all the way back to Beacon. Um, okay. How was everyone's Laurel Canyon? Experience. I mean, <laughs> this is what he would say before the wedding. Like, I thought the of. venue was amazing. Venue the was venue really was cool. Gorgeous. It, it was, was a cool venue, and we went so to a cool. wedding there, and so we experienced the wedding there. Mm-hmm. And much like you guys were like, "This place is great. Sign us up." Yeah. yeah. And that's how we found our venue. How Actually, long that did little you have girl. To book out like was uh, that... about nine months. Wow. That little girl is the um, owner. Her parents are the <laughs> wedding that we saw. Houdini reincarnated. Right, yeah. <laughs> she is Houdini's great, great, great niece. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's why she was like walking around punching people Houdini. in the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's why. <laughs> yes, that's why she was doing it. Jeff, how was your Laurel Canyon? I mean, I've experienced it many times, so I just I really want to hear from you guys. How did you the... love that street, right? Or like that whole area of LA, that don't street, you? Right? I knew you were gonna no, take a no. It's the that. boulevard. You know how much traffic's on the bish? It's not a yeah. boulevard. You know what street I like in Laurel Canyon? I like Oak Court. That's nice. That's still off Laurel Canyon, isn't it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> um Riley left her phone. In our oh, Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, when we arrived. Um, I did. So I, uh, Amrika and I took an Uber. We get to the venue. We're, we get there. We see our friends. We go to the bar. We have a drink. We have a bruschetta. And then I think, wow. How are the apps? I didn't get to experience them. Delightful. You didn't have the ham chowder? Um, you didn't have anything from the, the sushi bar? The uh, music was great. The light was golden. Should, it was the hour a was golden. mariachi band. And also, then I think, yeah. wow, this is so beautiful. I want to take a photo on my phone or take a video of like all my friends. And then I reach into my purse. Phone's nowhere to be found. Mm. Oh, wow. So that's pretty far after the Uber has left. Yes. We've been there for about 30 minutes, yeah. 45 minutes. Wow. Good on you and for not even looking at your phone for 30 minutes. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> cool. Way to be, way to be and, in the moment. Um, thank you so much. I had tweeted four times by then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. So I'm looking at like, I'm looking at all the tables where it might be. I look at the bar. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then Jeff was like, I asked Jeff, I'm like, Joel Jeff was like, this is why I wish that we were sharing our locations with each other because then I could see your phone. And I'm like, okay, well, can I text Daniel from your phone so he knows that? Can like, I just, but I don't yeah, like the yeah. way that you, that's not the tone that I took. That I is literally like, what oh, you said. Oh, I can't, I really wish, oh, and like, and you're the barrier to entry. We just don't. We used to, and then you stopped it first. Because I'm off the grid. That's right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then I text Daniel. Into and I'm a like, commercial. hey, just let me you know. <laughs> I lost my phone. And um, and then I'm like, can you, because Daniel and I share each other's locations. I'm like, can you look and see where my phone is? And in the meantime, <laughs> Jeff and I will go. Jeff's like, you should have Daniel call your phone. So it's uh, ringing in the lift. And we do that. And then it takes us maybe two two times of Daniel calling it for me to be like, you know, Jeff, you could also call my phone from your phone. You also have my number. Yeah. But then Daniel sent a screenshot. The phone says it's at the Houdini estate. Oh. And so we're like, interesting. How did that happen? Um, Uber driver dropped it off. Uber driver dropped it off at Smart. security. Left it with valet. And nice. so multiple people, multiple people had been like, 
anyone lose their phone and yep. we just hadn't noticed. Hadn't seen wow. it. So I went, wow. I finally, I, I grab it. And then later at the reception, we're chatting it up with uh, Billy Scafuri. And I think like I had my phone. I was going to show him a picture or something. And then he sees my background and he just like, he just starts dying laughing. And he's like, that's your phone? <laughs> Billy? I'm, yeah. And he's like, I've seen that phone a lot today. Because everyone your... is coming up to him asking if he had lost it. I, no, I think it's just like he had we seen has it. We has to move on. We has to move on. We has to move on. I can has commercial burger. <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, sometimes you don't know what's good for you right? You don't know what's going to feed your highest good, kind of make you feel joy, for lack of a better term, let alone getting wise. Uh, but, you know, your brain is getting in the way. Like, you know what you're supposed to do, but you just can't bring yourself to do it. And therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so that you can work for yourself instead of against yourself, right? I'm in therapy every single week. Not this week. I've had to reschedule. <laughs> but uh, I, it really does help support my, you know, personal journey of getting to know myself better, right? So that I know what does feed me? What does support me? You know, maybe I should say no to one thing this weekend so I can have some time to rest. Maybe I can uh, do the opposite of that and make an effort to go see people that I haven't seen in a while or like, you know, hang out with people that I haven't seen in a while because that's going to feed me. That's going to re, you know, uh, re reaffirm my identity of myself, my uh, etc. And I only know that about myself through therapy because I, I, I've been in it every week uh, for the last f four years, almost five and I really can't recommend it enough. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That? Thanks, BetterHelp. This show is brought to you by See The Thing Is. Are you a millennial that misses what life was like in the 2000s? Have you had a hard time finding new or curated music? Are you interested in multiple perspectives on relationships, dating, etc., and are looking for hosts that offer a non-male bashing perspective, but also hold both sexes accountable? Then you're going to love See The Thing Is, a podcast hosted by Grammy Award winning R&B artist Bridget Kelly and media personality and podcast trailblazer Mandy B. Each week, Bridget and Mandy have nostalgic conversations in their grown segments, political pop culture conversations in their honest segments, and relationship slash hot take conversations in the slightly toxic segment. The opinions on the show are real, and it's brought to you by the genuine connections that Bridget and Mandy have with each other and with their guests, who they like to call their friends with benefits. Each week, you'll also leave with some new music recommendations or a full curated playlist that you didn't even know you needed in their freshly squeezed music segments. Some of their recent guests include Ari Lennox, Big Freedia, and Neo. So, subscribe to See The Thing Is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or on YouTube. New audio episodes drop every Tuesday and Friday, and new video episodes are available the following days on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Check it out. Pause. <laughs> we Did pause Jeff, to move on. Jeff told Casey to, to say, say that. that. Yeah. <laughs> For how much money? Like, why did he do it so willingly? Because it's a free plug for the F1 podcast. <laughs> Got it. Or What's the name of, Do you know the name of the podcast? <laughs> yeah, of course. Pitwall. <laughs> but I didn't know it right until I said it. <laughs> I was stalling right up until that point. Yeah, of like course. a car. Yeah. yeah. That was a leap of faith you took. He just kept going. <laughs> oh, man. It feels like when you don't know if someone's name is like. And we're back. We were on, on break. <laughs> well, we had I, we, you. You brought us back by talking about the pit wall. We've been, and been on break since we talked about Pyle making that kid cry. <laughs> <laughs> We've cut everything since. <laughs> um, Amir, I just have some post wedding questions, and then we'll get back into what we were just talking about. Riley's we'll phone. Back into the wedding. <laughs> will you be talking? Will you be taking uh, Avital's last name? Have you thought any more about that? Yeah, I won't be taking her last. name. You don't want to be. Amir Are you guys doing a honeymoon or no? Uh, if we do, it'll my next be question. A few months, not anytime soon. And where cool. will you go? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Lake a country Como? I've never been to before. Or maybe... What did you say? I said Lake Como in an Italian accent. I think you said something crazy, though. No, I didn't say anything. Really? Yep. So. That'd be nice. Yeah. A Charlotte? country I've never been to before? Charlotte, Seville? like in the summer. That'd be cool. Global warming, though, so you might not want to go somewhere that's, like, super hot in the summer. Yeah, did like you profit from the nuptials at all? Excuse me? Did you... So. 
What did you say? I said, did he profit? I'm sure you pool? had to have because I feel like the parents paid for the wedding and then your your wedding gift was kind of like a honeypot, like help pay for our honeymoon, like which I you just funny. said you're not planning on taking <laughs> anytime, right. anytime soon. soon. Yeah. And um, you also did have sponsored content. Like, yeah. It was branded. Your vows. It was branded. Wedding, yeah. yeah. So you you're, this was a cash in the grab of your vows. I probably made seven figures. Yeah. They Holy say shit. that like probably the richer you are, the more the poorer you look, mm -hmm. right? So like if you have like five million dollars, you like wear a suit every day. If you have a, a billion dollars, you're wearing like a hoodie to a meeting, right? And if you see how garbage Amir is dressed today, oh, it's like garbage. that looks like a rich guy. He doesn't yeah. give a shit. Oh. That's BDE in a way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you look By loaded. contrast, Casey and I are broke. <laughs> so. Yeah. So um, does that mean that you guys have like dirty. billions of dollars? It is dirty. No, I'm saying we look amazing. Is your shirt yeah. dirty on purpose or is, did you make it dirty and just not clean it? It's vintage. So that's those are so grease vintage. stains baked in. Vintage. That's even if that's you wash the patina the shirt. of a of a cloth. What's that? It's the cloth patina. patina. Yeah. So did he buy it and it was dirty already? <laughs> yes, he bought really it and it was good. dirty Thank already. You. The fabric itself is dirty. <laughs> yes. Or it's That's dyed to look dirty. A mechanic named man. Joe Enjoy died this. in that shirt in 1996. <laughs> and then Jeff paid $78 for it over on Fig, I imagine. But Mission. What? Mission Dolores. The website for Scrubs. Very nice. Very nice. The website What's is that, Fig? Marika? Huh? The website is Fig? Figueroa is the street where got the thrift it, stores are. Got it. I, Amir, just focus on your fucking wedding, right? Website I'm wondering if that's a real so grease not. stain or if they, like, actually made the fabric to look Okay, like. other than Marty, and this can be a poll for the whole room. Other than Marty, do you, who do you wish had, wasn't invited? Wasn't invited? I didn't say I didn't wish Marty was invited. <laughs> He didn't have to. He <laughs> didn't have to. <laughs> Marty um, couldn't dance because he had a broken ankle or something. Yeah. Excuses. He like sprained his foot. Yeah, that's not But why. do you wish he was there holding up your chair? It would have been nice to have Marty holding up the chair. Um, but ultimately, we had enough able-bodied men to do the lifting. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried because people around me were getting hurt all Do you know what? Yeah. You want to know what happened? What? Would you like to know something that happened? Um, I was in there holding up Avi Tal's chair. Mm -hmm. Um, Billy was to my right between me and Ofer. Uh, we're lifting the chair. Yeah. And then I guess behind me, it's your, you're about to go up mm -hmm. and you're yelling, Billy, Billy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Billy <laughs> holding up tall left oh. <laughs> to go get, grab your chair. So Avital, wow. oh, wow. exactly where I am, just <laughs> almost fucking comes oh, crashing teeth. down. Yeah, Almost wow. comes crashing down because you called the strong man away Just from your like wife. Just like a man. I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> me, like Billy. <laughs> Well, I saw six, <laughs> six of the strongest dudes were currently uh, on somebody else. So I'm like, I need at least one of those guys probably. Was, so what, what, that was me you were saying? Wow. One of the strongest dudes? Yeah, it was you, Billy. Oh, nice. uh, <laughs> was no it Ofer Jesse? My cousin was there at one point. Yeah. But we needed at least six per chair. Right. We were running out of bodies fast. Yeah. I thought the chair hit the dance floor a little fast, but it's hard to just push the chair away if it got there too early. When, I think you, when you, you were coming down. Yeah. A little too yeah. fast. Yeah. What's that? I think you hit the dance floor a little too fast. Oh, it was like our, it was supposed to be like an entrance and then the music starts right yeah. away. Yeah. Really? It's his wedding. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I thought it was fine. But there's like a yeah. certain flow. I thought the timing uh, was good. Yeah, well, Dance and, the horror is always just a great song. It yeah. goes on it a little is. too long, mm -hmm. but there's so many things in, that you forget about as yeah. it's happening. They're like, yeah. oh, wait, no, I can't add yet. We got to do We got to do circle your, the circular oh, dancing. Then, oh, I we forgot all the guys are going to spin each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold hands and sort of dance around the bride. Uh -huh. Hold legs and dance around the groom. <laughs> yeah. Jump up and down like a jumping jack for some reason. Then yeah. there's the chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chairs the are highlight. fun. The that show, was probably the, the hottest twice. I was at the thing because you're just doing like a jazzercise exercise for. Uh, yeah, and the sun is still up. Yeah, yeah, the sun was still out a little bit. The Houdini mansion, I would say, ended up being fitting because the whole vibe of the wedding was like, now you have fun, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> what wasn't the fun what part? Yeah. Did you not have fun at? Yeah, being seated at a table with Marty. Yeah. You know, I didn't appreciate that. Jesse, my buddy, is like Jeff and Marty have this like uh, love hate relationship going on. He's like, <laughs> you guys were arguing a lot during the. Day. <laughs> you guys get Marty that said at one point to Jeff, he and by said I mean he. <laughs> Exploded at Jeff. <laughs> he goes, and this is unrelated to the shirt. This goes, is a different, this explosion. Is a different explosion. So multiple explosions happened. <laughs> We're like casually talking about like if <laughs> we ever got married, what it would look like. Yeah. 
Because I, Jeff and I have this bit. It's not a bit. We're going to have a double wedding. We're going to get married at the same time Riley right next to bit. each other. Yeah. It's and it's all going to be happening like at the same time. Yeah, it's not going to be like separate. We like planned wedding. it while yeah. you were there. She's double like, wedding. oh, it'll save confirmed. costs. I'm like, no, it'll just be double the cost. Double wedding. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about that. And then <laughs> Marty just erupts <laughs> and chow. <laughs> If you have a wedding <laughs> that's not in Los Angeles, I am not fucking coming. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, like, out and I was like, of no or, like dead serious dead anger. Serious. Dead serious. As if, like, if we you dragged have a wedding him to not Maine LA, for this I wedding. I am not fucking coming. He yeah. was in LA for this wedding, too, so he, yeah. he didn't have to be angry. It was a schlep, though, with the, with the boot. Yeah. Oh, it was, no, well, actually, no, the thing that led up to it was Jeff being like, if I have a wedding, I'm not spending time on Marty. Like I'm saying a thanks for coming and then yeah. walking away. <laughs> oh, I see. So it was you were Marty, antagonizing yeah. him. And then ultimately like, when, Marty was yeah. like, if your wedding's not in Los Angeles, forget about it. That's I'm not good. gonna be there. That's a nice <laughs> clap back. Yeah. Get the energy of this. An explosion? I saw it coming. I can see it coming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where did you say you wanted to get married? He like didn't. If, oh, so did, you, I didn't even make no. it. To we that. weren't even talking it about. It does a feel like you would have a destination wedding, like a big sir big style. Sir would be great. Yeah, yeah. a Deechins wedding. At the I library. would do it at Deechins. I would do it at the Houdini. I would do it at the Houdini as well. I would you, just because Amir did his there. Well, you, yeah. And you yeah. already yeah. did have yeah. yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might do yeah. mine at the Roundhouse. That, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do that either. Just because <laughs> it seems weird. Yeah. To uh, do it where your boss had their wedding. <laughs> The welcome dinner at the Roundhouse. That's <laughs> ceremony yeah. at Houdini. Would it right. be weird nice. if any of us had our weddings at the Houdini Mansion now that you have already kind of like laid your claim to it? I think now that I did it, you guys can sort of do whatever you want. It would be weird to go <laughs> second. Yeah. It'd like, be weird if we did it before you. Like it would be worse for you than for me. Like it wouldn't take anything away from my evening because my evening already happened. So but now you'd you be like, wow, there. at Amir's wedding, this oh, happened girl. at this spot. You'd have to admit yeah. that you'd be a little less, you know, like, joyful at their wedding because you've seen it all before. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I figured I would be like more relaxed and en- comfortable and enjoy Would the it be weird if I copied literally everything that happened? Like if Rami wedding. married her and Daniel? <laughs> Again, I feel yeah. like I would be honored. I don't know. It would be exciting to see that you same liked floor my wedding so much. Same floral arrangements, same catering, word word. same Copy vows, paste. word for word. What about same, call each other, <laughs> Abital and Amir? Same guest, same guest <laughs> list. So same my guest exact guest same friends guest. would yeah, be there. Exactly. Yeah. There's Everything's no way. the same. I'm wearing her dress. Daniel's and wearing your suit. And it's still a double wedding with Jeff. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, if you wore her dress, that would really piss that, me yeah. off. That everything would else, that's a everything else is fine. Vows word for word, I'll allow. Word for word. <laughs> I knew that we were doing this episode, so throughout the night, I took notes. <laughs> This is real. Yeah. These are there are extensive notes yeah. written Jesus. down. Is this why you, you seem so antisocial during the wedding? <laughs> yeah, you didn't really Other make than a new that friend. moment where I almost table topped Avital's mom. Did you guys what? see that? No. When? Yeah, I like leaned down on all fours, like right behind her, but nobody ended up pushing her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Not, so not almost as in like it was an accident. Like, almost you as tried. in it, yeah, attempted. it was a failed attempt. No, I, well, I did that. hear someone was crawling behind her a lot, but I didn't know that was a table top. <laughs> yeah, I ended up stopping because everybody was like, "Are you trying to look up her dress?" And I was like, no, I'm trying to this forget guy, it. This yeah. guy, some guy's yeah. crawling yeah. around. <laughs> Almost like a dog, like creature. Almost like a Don Why? Corleone. Because eh? I was Read like, your the notes. notes. <laughs> yeah. um, so as we walk up uh, the stairs from like where everybody got welcomed, there's this statue, oh and it's God. sort of like standing out with like its uh, palm facing down, like. Uh, over like a s- body, and it's supposed to be like Houdini is like making someone levitate or something. Oh uh, yeah. And I walked past, and I, um, <laughs> Marika I think pointed it out or something, and she was like, uh, "Did you see that statue?" Oh, and I was like, God. "Yeah." Did you make it move? And she was like, "What?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, no. Like if you if you touch your palm to the statue, the like body underneath it like sort of like swivels." And she's like, "No, I didn't know that." And I was like, "Didn't you read anything about the Houdini estate? Forget it." And I was like, "And then she was like, oh, 'Oh, I'll do it on my way out' or something like that." <laughs> Five hours later, she no. walks down and she's no. like. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm a curious gal. And then I, she looks up and I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Which nice, I, I would have done it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. 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 That was the only note he took. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, made, like, like, I wouldn't statue. even call that a prank as much as I'd just call it a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. I get yeah. that. <laughs>
Anything it did else look. Or? It did look like a a mo- like a movable statue. It yeah, does. it really yeah, did. It did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> to Jeff's credit, oh, um, is that it? Or? I wonder what. Yeah. That is. <laughs> He's trying to you. do something. Um, let's talk about him. Um, uh, yep. So, what are we doing? Are we still? Well, I was gonna get them talking. <laughs> you go so and then I'll do this. And then, yeah. Okay. Uh, Avital's mom lip synced for like five songs, all ABBA. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, uh, was hard. 80s songs. Yeah. How do I get you alone? Yeah. Wait, wait. She was also singing along with me to uh, Natasha Bedingfield's Unwritten. Oh, oh this is my, good. this is one of my favorite moments of the wedding is on, on the dance floor. We we're listening to that. Uh, you were singing along. Jake comes on to the dance floor towards the end of the song. Yeah. Uh, it, transitions perfectly into semi charmed kind of life mm-hmm. and you lost your mind. You erupted. Yeah. It was you, the perfect transition. You yeah. screamed yes and started <laughs> jumping up and down. It's cause that's, and I it's do my... have it on camera and it is so, so funny. <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite song. Uh, I think Billy or somebody was like, you summoned this song. <laughs> and I said that. Oh, I'm you like, did, you yeah. manifested yeah. this. Yeah. You really did. And it, it felt beautiful. like I did. Yeah. It's like it I walked onto the dance floor and they Solid just knew playlist. my they knew my entrance music. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was great. The dancing was very solid. Yeah, yeah. the DJ was really good. Yeah. Another recommendation Although from somebody who got married at the Houdini it started, 10 years ago. Do you remember what the first song was? <laughs> oh my God. Because it did start on a on a low note. So that was, uh, was like really... <laughs> the first song? <laughs> yeah, it was like... It, it might have been... <laughs> the first song. Oh, it was, it was a blur? Britney Spears. Oh, Toxic. Yes, oh, and yeah. he started it with... It's Britney bleep. Oh, <laughs> and all of us were like, oh, this that. night's gonna be yeah. interesting. It's that crushed in 2011. <laughs> did they, did he, it was Britney Spears saying bleep? No, no, no he, he said, said, said it's, it's Britney, Britney bleep. And he bleeped. He said so bleep. He, he said felt bleep. bad saying the B word. Yes. He should have felt bad even Say playing the song. <laughs> saying no. it. And, and, then at the end, the and then at the end, I don't, like, think, that's a, I don't think that's a kickoff This is the last dance, last song, last song. And he played zombie. It wasn't the last song. Yeah. Oh, wait, that <laughs> was also our idea, though. Oh, that was oh, not. Was that was not well, on but him. But what yeah. was the last song? It was Zombie, and then we all sang along, and that Livin went right into Livin La Vida Loca. Right, so, so you wanted zombie. to end on Livin' La Vida Loca? We didn't know whether to end on, like, Zombie, because I didn't know if people would sing along. Yeah. Because we wanted, like, a kind of morose sing-along song. And then we also <laughs> wanted to potentially end on a song that was more upbeat and exciting. Right. So I'm like, so oh, why don't we do both. Zombies and then Live in La Vida Loca? But you know but what you ended up? You should have, you should have had like... To, for him to fake out last song with Zombies. You didn't tell him to do that. I think, yeah, we, I think you did. guys should have had like some kind of signal. Like, hey, if Zombie crushes as hard as I think it will, yeah. call it. I was yeah. actually skeptical of because Zombies. Avital was the Zombie one. And then everyone was, was no. singing along zombie, with Zombie. Zombie was incredible. Was I think the only one that beat Zombie was everyone screaming to Alanis Morissette. Yeah. That was a great yeah. one. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's voice was so hoarse because we were all yeah. screaming along. They loved it. Like, Had a lot like, of demons came to out of exercise. Yeah. Yeah. We, were like, yeah, we weren't even dancing. It was just a, it was a <laughs> yeah. catharsis There was one point where like, everyone was just stomping. <laughs> yeah, what song was it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody it's loved so good. It. Man, Alanis. But that, so then I feel like to leave it all on the floor with Zombie, like zombie <laughs> to just be like she's it she's <laughs> in <laughs> I really enjoyed the why did you think that the that like <laughs> right, if, if zombie doesn't kill we've got to have the best pop up no. song around that's not <laughs> living the Vida Loca I've heard in over a decade I mean you remember the Latin guys, explosion I love Shrek too <laughs> you remember the Latin explosion <laughs> of 2003 right yeah, it was <laughs> by the way it was like a huge dance party at that point it's not like oh, everybody yeah. was walking off it was slowly. great it like it it continued it on out. The, it it out. Out. <laughs> the information. I mean, we can look at the tape. I think we could review it. Um, so. Speaking right, of tape, so right, you schedule. want this? Sorry, we were all having fun. You, but you, want, you wanted to look at the schedule. <laughs> I just wanted to keep us on schedule because we're getting kind of out of order. We talked about the arrival. We talked about the orders. We talked about how Riley lost her phone. We talked about how there was food. Right. Um, we talked about how there was food. That was sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? The entrance was sort of like <laughs> scoping out like. That's okay, such a cute who's, shot. who's the hottest at the wedding? Uh-huh. I do think it was the guy in the brown plaid suit. Guy in the brown, brown plaid suit. I think it was the guy in the blue, blue suit, suit with the pink, pink shirt. Accoutrement. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I thought he was he the best looked, dressed, not hottest. Yeah. Best, best dressed, best yeah, dressed sure. not best hottest. Dressed. Yeah. Um, Wait, who are they talking about? You know? I don't know these no. people. Let's no, keep it moving because we're... Chris and this is what you wanted to talk about. You okay, wanted ceremony. Let's talk about the ceremony, right? Um... Luke walked down the aisle. That was a highlight. That was well, a highlight. Can you highlight. explain Lu- Luke's full name? Yeah, Lucas Jackson Ash. Right. So Let's when Abital first got Luke, she wanted to name him after a movie character, and Lucas Jackson was uh, right. Cool Hand Luke's full name, in, or Paul Newman's full name in Cool Hand Luke. Oh. Okay. So it's Lucas Jackson, and then her last. It was surprising in like the in the program to see <laughs> Lucas <laughs> Jackson <laughs> Ash. Yeah, I didn't realize he was such a gentleman. Yeah. Yes, he, he was. Had, a gentleman. He had his little tux on and everything. Yeah, he had a tuxedo. Riley and I were like staring Sorry, at the program. One second, I was talking about that. It was kind of difficult to get him there, but I think it worked out in the end. Yeah. It was yeah. difficult to get him there. He's like ten pounds. I know, but just like the logistics right. of like he who, can't where's be there he coming all day from? He has to go somewhere else. You got to get a friend to bring him, but not a friend from the wedding. He had a lot. So that's kind of awkward. Like, oh, run. you bring our dog, but you can't stay. Yes, yeah. exactly. he had a cameo, but he wasn't a welcome guest. Yeah. Correct, because he's he like was you know, very doing excitable. cameos for ten dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah, we were. St- it doesn't matter. Uh, that we were staring ceremony. at the program. moment of earnestness. <laughs> what? The vows. Yeah, let's talk about the vows. Sure. Um, they moved me to tears. Same. It's nice to Same. hear. Yeah. Uh, did you guys the dinner? Honestly, honestly, no, it was obvious. Uh, we had pizza. Yeah. I was Avi Tal's that made you cry, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I cried and pretty salad. hard during Avi Tal's. Both yeah. Caesar and I think which, it was like this which mixed part for you. Yeah, yeah I think it was like anchovy dressing. When, when so she started think, crying. Yeah. I yeah. cried yeah. Yeah. both Like, because I wrote them down. I find you in the dark, right? She said, Oh, that. Yeah, the floodgates. I started, yeah. but I didn't know how much of it was a quote and how much she added to it. For sure. So like, yeah, we'll have to review. Actually, pull up the vows. <laughs> was the quote, um, "Were you blind and I deaf? I'd still find you in the dark." End, or it, was it everything she said? I don't know. I'll have to ask her. You didn't even ask. <laughs> he didn't care. My God, I didn't cry at Amir's vows. I what? did. I had, all, I had already cried. Cried too I much. cried at Amir's vows yeah. because I cried it's like when you have someone who doesn't emote, right? Yeah. yeah. When they do, yeah. That's like yeah. You know, when you like started edgy. crying. That's yeah. when I, was, I like fully yeah. lost it. I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I was. I was sitting next to Rose McIver, who lived with Amir and I, and like we always would talk about how much of an unemotive robot mm-hmm. he was. Yeah, but if you're ever gonna get emotional, yeah. like th- I'm like hearing a beautiful speech about myself for five minutes totally. yeah. and then I have to say a speech myself and then my entire family and friends are there. Yeah. That was the one thing that but pushed I, me over the emotional It wasn't edge. even when you got emotional. It was just like you even saying any that of the is, stuff yeah. that you said in your vows. Rose and I were just like holding each other's shoulders <laughs> being like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. So I, wasn't, I wasn't crying, but I was just so, su- I was yeah. like, I was su- joyfully surprised. I was like, I can't believe every it. Single He's leaving it out there. Every single person that we talked to after like Ben, Rose, er- Billy, all of them were like, we're proud of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did, he, we're wherever really proud it could happen, yeah. it had to happen there. I but then I tried up? to memorize it, so it was like what? kind of nerves. Did you just yeah. tell the case to cheer up? I'm looking at the monitor and he's like, <laughs> Cheer up. It's kind of he's fun. concentrating. <laughs> he's concentrating because he's trying to help you. Cheer oh, up. It's part of your vows that I really liked is when Avital started hers. Like she, she had her notes with her. Of course, big day. Like a lot of emotions. Of course, like you, I, I would want to have a copy of my vows. And she goes, "Well, Amir didn't state a reading is cheating rule." <laughs> so Avital had hers just in case. And then Amir, you fully went for it. He goes, "Well, I, I did say reading is cheating." Yeah. So um, here we go. Here we I go. Have to do it. Here's the, here's something really sweet that I saw. Um, after both of them did their vows, which is this is not standard in a wedding. Like Avital did her vows, she's like still crying a little bit. Everybody's like aw, and then you just like went around the microphone to give her a hug. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was just it was so also, sweet. And you it did, felt necessary. You did do I would say you did like three high fives during that the was vows. very yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun yeah. moments. And Rami did really well. Our officiant yeah. was yeah. able to like also capture the serious, but also. Yeah, R- Rami's great. great. Rami's great. Yeah, yeah. You, there were jokes, <laughs> there was levity, but there was also <laughs> gravity. Are you trying to make us cry right now? <laughs> <laughs> also, He's trying to upstage <laughs> Rami. <laughs> Jeff started. I maybe you didn't start it at the wedding, but at he least ten times. 
during the night, you did a, a new type of laugh. You debuted a new type of <laughs> yeah. laugh. Was that on purpose what? or uh. auditioning different laughs <laughs> for the day? It would be like he'd say a joke that was like okay, and then and then immediately follow it with. <laughs> <laughs> like he was doing the laugh on purpose, or yeah. he was. He uh, was like, earlier in the night because Jeff does a lot. Like he'll do a joke and then be like, ah. But then, <laughs> but then he was like, then we were joking. We're like, what if you didn't even do like the the vibrato and the ha ha ha? So it's really just like ah. <laughs> just <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Like, I thought it was kind of fun. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, we're running out of time, so we'll move past the ceremony. Um, dinner. <laughs> we that talked about the ceremony. We, we talked, we just talked about the ceremony. It. We talked about the ceremony. Dinner was He's a fiasco. Yeah. It was an Oscar was... disaster. They needed to <laughs> have people Sando. hurrying others through. Yeah. Exactly okay. Right. You're calling up tables one by one, yeah. and then they're still being so lackadaisical. The pizza's not coming out fast Jake enough, Jake has bud. been waiting to say this for days. <laughs> I didn't even eat the pizza. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know how ne- it was. Neither did a lot of people. people. Is that yeah. true? Did you guys have the pizza? I had pizza. I had the pizza. pizza was I had pizza. But I had ultimately, <laughs> the salmon was delicious. I just wanted was great. Ultimately, <laughs> the the team oregano's table, which was us, yeah. save for Jake. Not uh, team, but yeah. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> well, we, were we, all I was, we were all just in a table. Uh, just a table. Uh, a lot of <laughs> intra-table <laughs> fighting uh, between me and Marty. So I would team oregano. Uh, 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 we were we were called up in the everyone else. Yes, that was tough. Was that was tough mm, to hear. At least right. four tables. It was like yeah. the older people first, the, then the most likely to complain, and then it's like, sure, everybody else right. complains. And so first for and last all. name, who do you think is most likely to complain at the wedding? Uh, I was party. parents' friends for sure. For okay, sure. for sure. Yeah. It's Rivka Blumenfeld. Anybody under 50 complain. can just fucking fend for themselves. Okay. Yeah. It's the order of operations. I have a question about the No tables. one was checking what table you were at when you went to get the food. I went through the, the buffet line three or four times totally. before my table was called. <laughs> It was you and 75 Israeli, 75 year old Israeli men. Huh. So that's why no one else had pizza because yeah. he went yeah. through it four times Ken. before the Ken. second table was Yeah, Because yeah. they felt too bad. At one point, they did cut you off and you said, You can't legally do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm well within my rights to steal this pizza. Uh, <laughs> pizza. Pizza. Um, pizza. I do have a question about the table orders because we were mm. sat. I would say way too close to where you were supposed to be sitting. But also, where I was supposed to be sitting. Yes, never but you never sat, sat down. There. Never sat down because it's like it's weird. You got a table by yourself. Table. I'm yeah. not just going to sit down. Oh, you and had eat a sweetheart a table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was like sat. the headgum table is in front of the sweetheart table. Yes, but like ultimately, shouldn't that have been like? Your parents. Uh, <laughs> no, we wanted to keep friends close. Parents in the uh, back, sort of further <laughs> away from the table. My table was actually in the back, closer, sort of further yeah. away. Yeah, yes, right next exactly. to my table was really. Far well, you guys away. have kids, so you're already not cool. But like, we wanted like the cool people up front. Totally. Yeah, yeah, like young. Not everyone yeah. at my table. Energetic. Had kids. I was thinking as the only person, sort of like oh, people still in their twenties that have like a vibrant energy. Other people at my table. Yes, exactly. Other people at my table were young. I literally said this all the time. I actually, I guess it was at the parent table, kind of. Cheer up. <laughs> That's what Riley's fucking saying. Uh, uh. Um, I would just like to say something really quick. And this is fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was no coffee or tea. That's right. There it was says no. it on the schedule, but there was no problem. Oh, that's true. That's so Which true. is fine. There was also yeah. supposed there to be a, a babysitter there. There was a fruit cart. There was supposed to be a babysitter? What? Yeah, they were like, for some kids, they wanted like a... Um, Potentially a babysitter to like just wrangle. And but then you said no kids, kids were allowed. That's right. My but daughter wasn't allowed to there. be there. Correct. But then there was a babysitter. Some people yeah. eschewed that rule. And there then were the, yeah, there were some the kids, kids just hung out with the their parents instead. Yeah. Rise with this morning. Smile with the rising sun. Five different cakes <laughs> sat on the table. Oh. Why five cakes, yeah. Bob? Is that? Can I see your notes? Because <laughs> Casey said <laughs> that was awful. Casey said there was extensive <laughs> notes on the wedding. <laughs> that is a that is a lot of yeah. notes. More than my five vows. Five different cakes. Full sat on the table. What is that a parody of? Uh, Bob Marley. Three little birds. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Chocolate birthday. Susan. The Susie Kate cake. Jordan was so game good. six. <laughs> Jackson Tyson Jordan. Yeah. Um, uh, lemon cake was good. Avital was in charge of the cake. 
uh, I don't really care about. The and cake. obviously, I love dessert. That's why dessert showed up. Yeah, and then she's like, "I want this kind of cake, and also this kind of cake." And like, when you say wedding cake, it's like they charge you like three thousand dollars for like true. one. That's true. They big upcharge cake. everything if it's a and wedding. And so, like, let's just get fucking five Susie cakes. It'll be more delicious, more variety, and they won't charge. I think that was That's the smart. Move. That yeah. was yeah. great. What was everybody's favorite cake? Let's start with Cakesy. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I only had a little bit of the lemon cake. I was uh, I was working uh, yeah, most e- of the time. Easy transition to one of my notes, which is Casey's constant woes. Can you walk us through <laughs> your experience? Constant? Yes. Every time I met up with Casey around, he'd be like, man, like this fucking VHS <laughs> thing is giving me guff. <laughs> <laughs> and he did talk like that the entire yeah. time. Just that's my case. Yeah. Casey, but that your was cur- Casey's vibe. constant curls were kind of like the talk. They of were the popping. Town. The your, talk of the town. Your they hair were was like kind of going off. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank uh, you so much. Luscious locks. And your outfit matched the VHS of it all. It really I, did. You dressed really, and you know, were in 1991. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. really going for that. that was like a good. Halloween Wanted costume. Wanted to fit the part. <laughs> Wanted to make everyone that didn't know me at the wedding really unsure about what was happening, why I was there. Does this guy live at the Houdini estate? <laughs> He's a ghost. There were moments of the wedding that it, if I didn't have LASIK, I would have thought you were holding a gun. Oh. <laughs> Is that from your notes? <laughs> <laughs> Are you showing the picture of the GoPro? Yeah. I if do. I didn't have <laughs> LASIK. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. Just holding up photos of me. Yeah, he's not even holding anything. This was you taking a shower that night. <laughs> Casey's packing. <laughs> Casey's hung. <laughs> Tell us about your experience. Um, I thought um, we were doing everyone's favorite yeah. cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what's everyone's <laughs> favorite cake? Mine was a Susie cake. So I only had so all cake Susie cakes. Cakes. I only had the celebration cake, the blue frosting. That's one I had. Yeah, I and that's that one. one. That's one of my favorite cakes. Period. I love that cake. It's, a gr- it's like the birthday it's cake. It's so Los good. Angeles, yeah. It was good. I had that and the lemon, both good. The lemon had like a sugar coating on top. It was it's really gritty. Well, <laughs> in addition, <laughs> you were trash. <laughs> you were snorting it like Adderall. Down the of Why are you it's guys doing back there? Yeah. A fucking you, separate uh, podcast. <laughs> what are you guys saying? Just forget it. I just was talking to Casey. I was like, it's hard to get a word in from over here. Yeah. So we have to talk about. Jeff has asked. Jeff, Jeff has started two different polls. First, he started. How is everyone feeling after the wedding? We'll start with Casey, and then only, only Casey got yeah, to answer. And then he Casey. goes, "What's everyone's favorite cake? Cake, Casey. Yeah. And Casey, really like Casey's, a Casey's favorite cake went into Casey. Casey's woes. And he, went into Casey. What was your experience? Which you already asked him. him. And we already heard. <laughs> It's all about Casey. Casey this. Casey, Casey that. Casey. It's all about Casey. God damn. It's not about Jakesy. <laughs> <laughs> what was Jakesy's favorite Casey then? I already yeah, said it, it was is. the fucking blue one. Jakesy's <laughs> favorite. What were the small desserts? The pizza guy made small desserts. The pizza the guy. The pizza guy yes. did. Those I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> what were those? Those were awful. Really? <laughs> Jeffrey. There was like a burnt caramel banana pudding in a sack, and it was like <laughs> it was so <laughs> soggy and bad. Plastic it was a past ripe banana in a cup. <laughs> well, it was caramelized. It was caramelized. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take your word for it. No, you're genuinely, that, that, that was the worst p- food of the wedding. But the rest of the food was like maybe the best wedding food I've had. The Alfredo was really? split. We should the say Alfredo was, the Alfredo sauce was the split. The truffle Alfredo sauce was Unbelievable, split. the yeah. truffle pasta. Yeah. We were talking a lot about the pesto The pesto is well. one second. Yeah, the, the pesto was very good. We had a question. I didn't table. get any salmon. I don't know where anybody even saw the salmon. <laughs> End of the line. You were yelling at the pizza guy <laughs> the whole time. You said this whole line is unsustainable to me. I waited in that line three or four times. I never saw the salmon. I never saw the salmon. I saw the salmon. I saw the salmon. We were talking at the table. Was that Avital's infamous salmon (laughs) salmon recipe or no? (laughs) That was like part of the vows was like how good her salmon is. Keep my wife's name out (laughs) your fucking mouth. I'm going to. And we should say, we should also say during your first dance, you, 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 you did some like, Fight wow. choreography. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't quite remember that. I sort of browned out during the first dance, and then I was like, did you guys practice that? I'm like, practice what exactly? Because I felt like we didn't know what we were doing. She's like, yeah, at one point, Avital was fake slapping. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah. No, we didn't plan that. And it like, was kind of the you perfect first it dance. Yeah. I'm like, no, we've never done that before. It was great. Yeah. It was good. I have a video of that, I think. That's okay. 
Oh yeah, wait, I have a great video of your, you and your mom's first dance. Did I oh, send yeah. that to you? That was cute. No. That's oh, a, yeah. Wait, this is Avital's dad tripping into the frame of my video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, That's it is good. 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, just so we're on the same page. We have a whole other was. segment to get to, and yeah. if, if not, everybody can be a part of it. We're also playing fine. horse or course, where we look at <laughs> horses. <laughs> you have, have to watch the Crisco or horse. Triska. That's you dancing nah. with your mom, and then I found then I got your dad <laughs> filming it. It's a selfie. <laughs> He's vlogging. <laughs> oh, that's um, nice. All right, let's wrap this up. Or let's move on to the, our next segment then. Um, but not wrap it up, even though we've been here for an hour. Um, let's move on, but not wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to, before we go to get to that segment, I did want to nail something down with you guys. Yeah, Casey, how did you feel about the wedding? <laughs> how many? Um, <laughs> what did you think about the truffle pizza? <laughs> how, how many guests do you think were there? Uh, 170. Okay, great. So he's finding. So oh my this God. was on a Sunday. You said oh, yeah. 170. Oh we were, we were great. Pile had his calculator out. I found this to be kind of a deal when I looked this. Yeah, up. That's, that's a huge good. deal. That's a uh, great deal. It's so a. It's you have to imagine. Excuse me, one second. That's just the venue <laughs> fee. Exactly. So right. that's not. That doesn't come with no the vendors. DJ. It doesn't come with the food. It totally. doesn't. I don't even know if it comes with the chairs. Frankly. So like, and what kind of? I think that and, was a seventy-five thousand dollars wedding. Photo booth. That's yeah. A, that's oh, the gonna photo run booth you. was yeah. that's awesome. That's gonna run you. Organic plugs of my notes because the next two were nineteen twenties photo booth and nineteen forties photo booth. I this um nineteen twenties. I, I think it's also cheaper depending on the month. Too. Okay, definitely, definitely. But not October. October they have events every night, so you know they're gonna. October they surge for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Was I close when I said seventy-five? Uh, I actually don't know. After party, there was this kind of like upper area. There was a chair with a quote from Harry Houdini mm -hmm. okay. that just says, Conquer fear. Yeah. <laughs> and spikes, spikes on the chair, no? Yeah. Yeah. Spikes. You have, I mean, that actually. Stunts, not I, spikes. Yeah, spikes. It Whatever. sounds like a basic quote now, but he would go into a, a, a tub of water covered in like chains and, and need cement. to get, like, yeah. that's. J yeah. Jake is standing up for Houdini. I'm a Houdini stan. Yeah. Um,. But I feel like we have to add that to like the growing mantra of this show because it's be joy, it's get wise, it's embellish faith, which is a Marika edition. Embellish faith? <laughs> and now I think it's... That's new to me. And now it's conquer fear. Right. That's a I normal think you've add, quote. You've add like th embellish you've, you've had four faith. or five new ones that you forget yeah. every single time. You think conquer fear will stick, stick or no? Um, Can someone add to the headgum... Wiki page sure. that is really just bond of, bonds of the week right now. Oh, which All we didn't of do. Jeff's uh, little mantras, yeah. two word quotes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Should we bond do bond of the, of the week? week? It's got to be Billy Scafuri. Oh, because for for leaving. Yeah. The one chair going to the other one. That's that's good. So I'll do a on double chair. I'll do dude. Rami yeah. Raff for the officiating. Mm, um, nice. Let's rapid fire through the last of these notes. Sparkler slash fire safety thoughts. I my legs got scared. hit by a, co a couple of stray scared. sparkler flames. That's You're not a to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. that was haphazard. You're not supposed. I think to do that that was. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but I could see something have g like gone wrong. Gone yeah. way I was more wrong. Marie and I were right yeah. next to a very dry olive tree. You're yeah. not supposed <laughs> to have. Nervous. You legally can't do sparklers in California. Right. So there's sparklers everywhere. And, and they were like, just so don't get them on anybody. Yeah. But sounds were, like you are blaming us for doing it. No, I'm just saying you're yeah. right to think it was dangerous and I'm glad nothing. They were wrong. also mm -hmm. kind of like crowding all of us in Indeed. to like to, you know, hold them towards you. But they're like, don't hold them over anybody's face. But it's like, well, but we when we're walking can. through, it's just raining. And your dad had his very loose <laughs> waving. He was, Jeff uh, was uh, given wanders. two, and yeah. he was trying to yeah. pass one off to somebody really quick. My bond of the week is Marika and my Uber driver who <gasps> noticed my phone was in the back of the car. Wow. Yeah. Fucking whip that puppy around. It's more of a Q move, and, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. It's my bond <laughs> of the week. You don't have to agree. Um, <laughs> next note. Next note. Wow. Kyle right. and I first summoned a rule in this <laughs> Jeff was way meaner to you this episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking it out on Jay. I'm sorry. Um, it's just, if I take it out on him, it literally, it's like he can't even register that it's happening. We yeah. should share our location. Next note. Again, rapid fire. This was supposed to be rapid fire. Next note is Pyle and I summited the canyon. Yes. Marika, Riley, Pyle, and I approached a very steep set of lit up f uh, stairs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I bet this is where the mansion is. Because the mansion, not much of a mansion, it couldn't have been more than 1,200 square feet, ladies. Um, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> um, but, oh, let me just get this. Um, but. <laughs> Thank God you were able to play that. <laughs> but uh, Pyle and I had the gall to go up there. Well, and 
So, we went up well, the stairs. we went up the stairs, and then we got to the top of the stairs, and it was pitch black and nothing. Just dirt. Yes. Pitch black dirt. Pitch black dirt. <laughs> Pyle <laughs> and I were high. Uh, no, we <laughs> went up to the long to that without. Like, <laughs> we get a camera on Marika, <laughs> lip syncing those words as you say them, <laughs> like you guys had rehearsed, like she was your fucking voice teacher. <laughs> <laughs> she was proud. <laughs> you did it. How did she know the words you were going to make up that um, second? But we went up at the stairs and then up and up and up. And we were literally at the top of Laurel Canyon. It made my year uh-huh. to, to be at the actual, what I consider the summit. That's what All I'm right. saying. You love Laurel Canyon for yeah. some reason. The after party. Let's talk about it. It was like, we were promised, what, a glass tree house yeah. and a pool. Mm-hmm. Nobody swam. Pool. And Nobody also swam. the glass tree house was basically was like just a, a hot house. jail. Yeah, there was... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it was just a glass <laughs> little room. The glass a room. heater running at 80 degrees for some reason. No, no, no. Well, the no heater desperately set to 60, but, but the temperature at temperature, 89. Yeah. <laughs> right. And Jeff, when we Fighting. got up to that kind of like little area with the pool, Jeff finally took off his jacket. And so Jeff is just kind of lounging. I have in a his great tank top. photo of Jeff. He in dressed his for that moment. In his tank top. Did you buy that suit for the wedding? Did you buy that he suit for not. the wedding? Shut I, up. That's an impression of me. <laughs> I didn't say that. What's well, that? That's your impression of me, and I didn't say that. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no, we're really running out of time, but yeah, I'm going to answer I the bought, question. Uh, rapid fire, I can answer the question. I bought the suit to have, and but also with the wedding people. in mind. I pissed off like six different people yeah. at the Bearded Beagle. I walk in, there's a you navy suit on the, the story. Got but it. So I'll tell it next week. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have to move on, but I have to tell you about how I bought a suit. <laughs> uh, st- I, as people started to leave, slash when I left, the, uh, people started to, like, we all hugged goodbye. The first person to hug me goodbye was Ben, and he got a mouthful of my hair. Mm. And I noticed that, and he didn't say anything. Because wow. I don't think, yeah, we, but at, also that happened to you, I think. Did I you did not, not get a mouthful Whatever. A cup, a, it happened to Cohen. It happened to Jesse. Uh-huh. Uh, and it happened to... My friend Jesse hugged you goodbye? I hugged him goodbye. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, I guess. Why, why, are, why is that happening? Because my hair was down at that point, and then like it was kind of down and out, uh-huh. and so was I. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I was too short to get... Hey, no, come on, don't say that. Not a dig at myself, <laughs> just... Uh, <laughs> please edit Grace. <laughs> Grace, edit it out. All right, here we go. Um, this is the final segment. Um, Amir's wedding rubric. Oh Ignore God. the typo. Rubic, no way you're introducing <laughs> this fucking thing. It's a fucking half hour mark. Really quick, really quick the before you go, we have to take a fucking half hour. I put, on, I put so, had so much hour. work and into you this. Tried to say, you tried to say and your fucking suit story. Five story. Five minutes Why would we be asking you how you would do it three times? It doesn't say rubric, it says rubric. We're going to give it a score out of 27. If anybody okay. needs to leave, you're welcome to, but whoever wants to stay is going to grade it on this rubric because I really I did put a lot of effort you, into this. So we're reading really 27 so categories ago. earlier. Yeah. Okay. Really. No, no, no. Do it. I just might have to do it. Yeah, you should. Got and it. Should. Okay. Let, I we'll, think we're all going to leave you. Appearance of the bride <laughs> three, above standards. No, no, no. no. You have, we have to read what the rubric we're says. Not, you wrote paragraphs. <laughs> so I'll read it quick. Bride was an absolute vision story. in white. Her smile moved. Plus ones to heart flutters. <laughs> tears of joy for what her. And viral jealousy of the groom. Whispers of how the fuck did he end up with her permeated it's the canyon. Actually, true. it says permeated the canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Brian was dressed in a four-length white dress as one would expect. (laughs) One below standard, Brian was fine to bad visually. Three. Yeah, three. Three. I don't, but without any of the the, the vitriol of like, how did he do that? Or jealousy. Just three. Just I three think three, fine to a T. three and everyone was happy. All right, here we go. Jake, it. continue. Appearance of the groom. Groom presented himself with confidence and timelessness, yet in his <laughs> eyes shone a shimmer of originality and wow. <laughs> his stance and prior actions all prior screamed actions. hero. He was and, for- <laughs> and forever will be perfect. I don't think it's quite that one. Let's Two, continue. The groom was dressed in a form fitting black tuxedo he was as not, one would no. expect. He was not. So it's not that one either. One, Here we go. Groom's appearance evoked that of repulsive fungal rot on a bitter and mud covered <laughs> cherry tomato. Cherry tomato. Dehydrated and sorry. sorry. His voice cracked at the start of every sentence. <laughs> 
He exhibited insecurity at every turn, and he fell down the stairs more than once. There were so many stairs. His <laughs> smile imbued a, a Giardia energy. A big Giardia energy. <laughs> and his gait suggested early, <laughs> early, early onset tree man syndrome. <laughs> It's got to be a one. It's got to be a one. It's a one and a double. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you should have worn black tie. It's a one. And you're not a hero. Well, it Construction it, material. It wasn't a hero. You weren't three, and you were in blue, not black. Yeah. So we'll have to go one. Yeah. So so far, everybody's agreeing that it's a four out of. This yeah. is a possible yes, yes, twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. ready. Construction materials. Construction appropriate materials. materials were selected and creatively modified <laughs> in ways that made them even better for the purpose. <laughs> Ivory linen tablecloths, patinated antique tables, etc. Materials were right there. there, or construction materials consisted <laughs> almost entirely of <laughs> allergens and kitsch. <laughs> I would say that. I think a two. I think they were there. there. Yeah, so we're at a six, six. out of twenty. I think they were there. Yeah, six. Quality of sound. Quality of sound. Both the how performances. Many, how many? There's like eight. Continue. <laughs> Both the performances of the wedding ceremony and the disc jockeying pre present at the reception were consisted of wide dynamic range and total contrast, <laughs> creating tapestry of a of an oral oral pleasure that would have made even the canyon's most musically oh gifted God. denizens come. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Joni Mitchell, sir. The doors, exactly right. Crosby the sound was an audible enough that the guests could bear legal witness to marriage. <laughs> Nuptials and music were hard to hear, integrate into your ears, drum, mind's eye. There was an overwhelming feeling in the crowd that what could not be heard was probably not worth giving ear to in the first place. I'll go two. I'll go two. I think a two. I'll yeah, go two. eight out of twenty-seven for now. Yeah, yeah I thought. Well, I thought we're not. Even I felt close like the, the dance music could have been bumping a little harder. I yeah. shouldn't have heard myself singing "Zombie" to the level that I did. Exactly well, right. Two. Ultimately, half of that the DJ cut out so everyone was singing a cappella. Right, right, okay. right exactly. uh, Moving on to critical wedding attributes. The veil, flowers, cake, and raised dance floor were all noticed and appreciative <laughs> and appreciated. Choice details went above and beyond expectation to the point of sensory nirvana <laughs> on math. Why is Nirvana capitalized? It's the band. It's yeah. the band. Yeah. 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 You obviously didn't spell check. The veil, flowers, cake, and raised dance floor were present and subconsciously acknowledged. <laughs> That's for two. For the one. The veil, flowers, cake, and raised dance floor were present in an ennui fashion and were consciously and repetitively scored. <laughs> Scorned even the wedding's most humble and kind hearted of guests. See Billy Scafuri's frequent <laughs> trips to the bath bathrooms to quote spice things up. I did hear a lot of complaints from you about the dance floor being too slippery. Yeah, it was like a bouncy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so what do we think? I think this was a two. Okay. Yeah, we'd have to go two. I'll go okay. Two. Well, yeah. Or actually, you know what? Uh, let's go three for this one. There's yeah. five different five different cakes. So oh, yeah, yeah. The cake. That's yep, true. Yep, yep. So the that's gonna be an eleven out yeah. of twenty. Seven. Continuing on, demonstration, demonstration of, of love. love. Bride and groom <laughs> spoke loudly and clearly. Their love was visible to guests and its value was demonstrated through historic examples, shared pet appearances, and emotional guarantors. <laughs> the degree of affection is named and the and the process by which it was created is described so in detail. So it's a three. Yeah, it's a three. Let's hear the other categories, though. Love Number two. was assumed to be present, but sources were not cited. <laughs> <laughs> assumed to be. The wedding itself stood. This is one. The wedding itself stood and will continue to stand in attendees' memories as a talisman of if her insincerity of heart and muteness of loin. <laughs> Their union, it's, this is like a fucking mad list. Their union is to put, is to put it simply, not. not. I would think, I think three. three. I think three, I think yeah, so we're at 14 three. out of 27. Doing well so far, Thank this is better you. than I Don't thought. Don't say out of 27, it's like out of like 18 right now. All right. When you say 27, it makes it sound like it's really yeah. coming up short. To oh, 27 total, okay, well, yeah. 14. Class, time and effort. Class and time were spent and used wisely. Much time and effort went into planning, design, and construction. <laughs> 
construction. You keep on talking about construction. The guest experience, it's rentals. <laughs> the guest experience as well as the brides and grooms were considered greatly and fairly special exception for Casey. And his woes, yes, continue. Case, class and time were spent and used wisely. Much two. time and effort went into planning, design and construction. Bride and groom could have spent more time considering the guest experience, specifically in regards to inviting so many <laughs> unknowns. Unknowns. Mm. Like, like non famous people. Yeah, I mean, we should say, like, we had, like, Sean Gunn was there. Yeah. And then also there was, like, Who's fucking. Sean Gunn. I felt that's the second He's mention. James I've heard. Gunn's brother. He's Kirk from Gilmore Girls. He's the huh. body of Rocket Rock. And number one, below average for Rocket? time and effort. Let's hear it, Jay. Okay, yeah. Little thought or poise went into the planning, the cer- into planning the ceremony and or reception. Even 40 cakes couldn't mask the guests' overwhelming feeling oh that they were God. participating in a lower <laughs> echelon. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, underlined. Yeah. Underlined. Yeah. Yeah. underlined. Um, I think it I'm was... I'm going to say three. Yeah, yeah I, think th- I do think three. Three, I, yeah, I absolutely. Three. You were going to say two. (laughs) I was going to say two, but three, that's fine. 17 so far. I think Amir Amir gave it a two, but Avital's mom gave it a three, which which is a three. Knowledge gained. Attendees what? were joy, got wise, embellished faith, and ultimately <laughs> conquered, conquered fear. fear. Right. <laughs> it was the event of the year and will not soon be forgotten. Attendees were there <laughs> and then were <laughs> <laughs> Houdini style. Yeah. The only knowledge gained by guests was how much they don't want their partnerships oh. to mirror the horrors and shame of the Ash Blumenfeld quote union. <laughs> A farcical and odd <laughs> happening <laughs> that not only that, that not only debases the sacrament of marriage, but also defies the laws of the universe entirely. The whole thing was, in a word, bad. I think I it was two. No, I, I think, think I think it was three. I think it was three. Three. Yeah. All right. Not bad at all. Yeah, the well, you score? kept saying two, 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 so it would have been a lot worse if you were final the fucking score. judge final and jury. Score. Final score is going to be 20 out of 27. Which feels I, low. Uh, it no, does feel great. low, but I mean, it's hard for a wedding to be. You I know, feel like we gave three. We gave you a, a joke C. one. That's at a one solid point. C, yeah. which is a passing yeah. grade. You're not. You know. You don't have to retake the course. You don't have to get married again. You're obviously not going to get remarried, even if it got an 18 out of 27. <laughs> <laughs> Plugs. Um, that was Amir's wedding. <laughs> Five different cakes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Sat um, on the table. <laughs> Um, um, well, when is it? When is the episode coming out? Uh, the ne- a week from this Friday. Is that that's Stop before the- playing the song? <laughs> so the headgum the live shows. Yes, we should plug those. Yeah. Headgum happy hour. Unfortunately, we are at time. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, no, plugs, down the line, Jake, rapid fire, go. I will be reading Amir's vows at HeadGum uh, Happy Hour November in 6th. New York on November 6th. Yeah. 9.30 p.m. caveat, or caveat. stream it live on moment.co. Yeah. But you're going to want to be there to see hour. one Janine Garofalo. Oh. Anything, Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Uh, Jake, review, <laughs> review live featuring special guests uh, Kylie Brakeman and Ryan Gall. New York Comedy Festival, uh, Sunday, November 5th at the Littlefield in Brooklyn. Tickets on headgum.com slash live. Or wow. Coming to my Fest city. Or wow. Littlefield. You it's going to be Gall to invite Gall. Casey? It, Gall is going to show. Listen to the pit wall. <laughs> be, uh, Riley was just Gall. on the show. Uh, Jake, you want to be back on the show at some point? At maybe? this point, I have to keep my streak alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going. All right, Are you still watching great. the races? Uh, I'll be on, I'll be on the last on Instagram. Episode. And uh, Amir, let's end this on you... Just some final parting wisdoms. Now what? I planned very little for the wedding, and I was pleasantly surprised with all the decisions that Avital's mother made for the the he's night just, of joy. He's zooming in on the cost. Because so <laughs> ultimately, I'm glad you guys all were there and had fun and ate well and danced good. And, and yeah, um, yeah, You're overwhelming but shit. overjoyed at the same time. Mazel. You tried very hard to ruin the evening, and I'm glad you were unsuccessful. <laughs> and I really hate to ask, how was the consummation? <laughs>